I mean, the contracting officer is basically just, they're there just to do the acquisition part. That's their job. Their, their job is to, is, to, is to facilitate the acquisition process. So the way it works is the program office that's buying the service, they go to contracting and they say, hey, contracting, we need to buy this service. Can you acquire this for us? Mm -hmm. and, and so then the contracting officer goes to the acquisition process to acquire that service. And so they they may know when you talk to the contracting officer, they may be they may know like, okay, this is what the timeline looks like. This is when we're going to issue an RFP. Um, but we don't know exactly like what we don't know what their government's going to need exactly. Yeah. That's when you need to try to find the program office. The funding office is the office that's buying the service. They're the ones who are providing the money to buy that. Mm -hmm. And so when you find the funding office, then you get a sense of, okay, this is the office that does this. And then it's then it's time to go to Google. It's time to Google the office, see if you can find the people in there. A lot of times you can see within the um, within the website, like on the agency website, you can see the actual um, org chart. And so you can see who the people are. Yeah. And then you're reaching out to them. LinkedIn's yeah. a great tool too. Like LinkedIn is, yeah. Yeah. you can use that to put the program office in there and see who the people are there. 